Okay. So, guys, this video will show you how to create a WMI filter. Now, WMI filter exists here. If you can follow me, it's fine. If not, just look at the screen. Uh, so, here, uh, this is my group policy console, and everybody knows that this is a group policy console. And within the console, this is all WMI filter. And it is empty at the moment. This, there is nothing inside. When you start working on this, it will be empty. And here, these are all my group policies at the moment. Let's say I have a group policy. I have a group policy, let's say, uh, this GPO uh, for Windows 7. I'm creating, some, I'm creating some group policy just for GPO for Win 7. So this is, a, this is GPO for Win 7. And this GPO, let's say, it has some settings here. Oh, it has some settings inside and those settings and now this is linked to this is linked to a domain now i need to create i need to run only this if i don't create a wmi filter then it will be applied to all machines but now it is part of a domain but guys i need to create a wmi filter in order to create a wmi filter if you look at the bottom here this is called wmi filtering right under security filtering and there is nothing inside there now, in order to have something here, first I need to create a WMI filter right at this level. So first you create it here, then you need to go here and attach a WMI filter. So let me create a WMI filter here, and when I go in this, I say, okay, new, I need to create a new filter, and this filter will be for Windows 7. I'll name it Windows 7. As soon as I name it, and then it's saying, okay, add a query. Now, within this, when you add a query, you can write description. You don't write description. It's all good. It's not required. Uh, so here, when you add it, now here, I need to write a query. Either I should know w, WQN language, which is a WMI query language, which is something like this. Uh, select star from... I need to know many attributes here. Or what I need to do is I can just go to that link. I can just link and how did I come to the link I'll just show you this one more time you can open a quick you can open a new Google browser and just say WMI query for Windows 7 as soon as you search it and enter it here what you need to do this is the third link if you search for these specific words it will be a third link in Google as soon as you go to this link you can maybe you try reading through this no need to read everything, guys, so don't exhaust yourself if you don't understand this. I, I don't expect you to understand this. Here, what I need to know, here within the line, I'm giving you direct uh, query, and that direct query is this one. Now, here, all I need to do, copy this query, and then I, I, I go back to my screen, and within this screen, I'll paste it. As soon as you paste the same query, now, two ways to write the query, either you know this language, or... Just copy it, it from there and put it here. And as soon as it is copied, it is saved. Now under WMI filter, I do see a, 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 a query here. Now my work here under this folder is done. You don't have to do anything in this world. The only thing you need to do, remember I created a GPO and now I need to add a condition with this. And that condition is, so you go back to your GPO and write in WMI filtering, you just say, Okay, add this condition, which is WMI Windows 7 query, the query that I just created. And all you need to do is now link it. It is already linked to the domain. So now this, is, this process is complete. Now this GPO has a condition saying that whatever settings are in this, this will only be applied to Windows 7 machine. It won't be applied anywhere else. So just a quick review. Well, well, just a, just a quick second, and just a quick review, what I did, I created a WMI filter. Within WMI filter, there was nothing here, and all I did, I created new, and within new, I, I just named it properly. Let's say I need to create a query for server 2012. Let's server 2012. So what I'll do, I'll create a query for server, uh, Windows Server 2012. So this query is for Windows Server 2012. And then add, now we'll leave it empty, and I'll jump back to that link again. And right here it says, the following query returns true for the computer if they are server 2012. For server 2012, all I need to do for Windows 7, I need to select this one. For 2012, I need to select this second query. So it is same query, product is different. So all I need to do, copy, 
and then bring it back to the machine and here I'll paste it and then copy save once it is now I have two queries here now when I create a new GPO let's say I'm creating a new GPO for Windows uh, for Windows uh, 2012 if I this GPO is only for that all I need to do is that within going to that GPO and link the WMI query just for server and now you have a dash WMI query for that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this. 